From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Friday, August 15th, 2014. And if you're about to fly out of Fairbanks between now and Monday, you might want to be at the airport at least two hours early. The TSA at Fairbanks International is reporting issues with equipment used for security screenings. The broken equipment is used for one out of a total of two screening stations used to scan travelers. Airport officials say that during busier times, the wait to get through the screening process could take up to 45 minutes. Yet another filing has been made in the case of the group of men known as the Fairbanks Four. The Alaska State, the state of Alaska rather, filed its reply to the Alaska Innocence Project's ongoing post-conviction relief petition. Lead prosecutor Adrian Bachman attacked both the notion of new evidence and the alleged confession made by William Holmes, calling it a classic second bite at the apple. Bachman says the eyewitness and footwear testimony would prove to be the same arguments made at their original trial, packaged and presented in a different manner. And the buzz around North Pole isn't a happy sound. AP reports a swarm of honeybees have been found living above the front door at the Grange Hall. The bees are prompting officials to cancel events there this weekend while they figure out what to do. Those events were to include an art show, a jam and jelly contest, and a dance. But the giant cabbage weigh-in will go on as scheduled outside. There are about 100 bees in the swarm, and commercial spray hasn't deterred them. A consultant tells the Grange they would likely have to cut into the roof to remove the hive. A quick look at the Fairbanks weather for today and tonight, mostly cloudy, showers and isolated thunderstorms, high 60 to 70, lows in the mid to upper 40s. Tomorrow, partly sunny with highs in the lower to mid 70s. Extended forecast, variable clouds with rain off and on through Wednesday, highs staying right around 70 degrees. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to learn CPR and enjoy your weekend.